Hi, welcome to Newly Listed. I'm your host, Barrington Miller from the Canadian Securities Exchange. And this morning, I'm here with Chris Savoy, CEO of The Hash Corporation. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thanks, Barrington. And, uh, thanks for the warm welcome. And thanks for having me this morning. No, no problem. Uh, so I missed it. I missed what The Hash Corporation uh, sort of stood for. And it was sitting there right in front of me. Um, what do you have right in front of people's eyes that uh with the hash corporation so i mean yeah just kind of go right at it there i mean we make hash so we're a canadian cannabis company that's taken a little bit of a different approach um first we're we're focused so we we make great hash and hash based products um and, and that's that's really it is we're we're highly focused um, secondly, is our, our business model is a little bit unique rather than kind of finding a facility um, and setting up within it and jumping through all the regulatory hoops to, to get a cannabis product to market. Um, we've teamed up with two licensed facilities to produce products out of their existing licensed space. Um, so this has helped us to obviously keep, keep the lead time and the overhead down as we, as we lead into the market. What is the difference for some of the uneducated um, when it comes to this, uh, this industry, what is the difference between, uh, what you see as flour and hash? Sure. So, I mean, flour is very much what the cannabis plant, um, produces. It's a flower bearing plant and people enjoy drying and consuming the flowers. Um, what hash is, is actually, uh, removing the trichome heads, which are, um, kind of the fruit of the flower, if you will. Um, so it's more commonly known as like a, a oil or a distillate or seen that way in kind of fate pens when cannabis is extracted, but the, the kind of the oldest method, um, of extract production is, is hash, which is going back thousands of years now. And essentially, if you think of the cannabis flower, like an apple tree, um, to make hash, we just take that flower and we shake the apples off of that tree and collect them, um, stick them together. And, and that's your hash. Wow. Sounds, uh, sounds simple. Um, now the company, the trading symbols resin R E Z N trading okay. on the Canadian yep. securities exchange. Uh, tell us a little bit about the team behind you. Yeah. So, I mean, our, our team at, at hash corp is we're really, we're run by a passionate team of cannabis industry experts. Um, collectively we have decades of experience in cannabis branding, um, and product development. Um, with that comes kind of our, our time spent working within the industry. We've built uh, many foundational relationships with both domestic and international cannabis companies. And this has really proven to, to yield great results for us as we reach out to our network and leverage the collective strength of all of those allies. Now, there's a lot of cannabis companies uh, around. There's a lot trading on the CSE. What would you say is the differentiator between uh, what your company does and the other companies out there? Yeah, so I mean, we're uniquely focused on the production of traditional hash um, and the further development of other solventless or, or hash-based products. Um, so we aren't out here trying to make the next great, great breakthrough in cannabis. Um, we're, we know what the consumers want, and we're just trying to give it to them within the legal framework. Um, nostalgic hash products that represent what the consumer has been used to in the legacy and medical markets aren't yet available on regulated shelves. And we're aiming to change that with ours. Oh, very nice. And as new investors and would, and current investors, what do they have to look forward to in the next three, six or 12 months? Yeah. So we, we presently have one 12 month, uh, white label agreement that we're, we're working on. Um, and in various stages and negotiations for, for several others. Um, so between the predictable revenue that the white label business offers us and our low, op low operating expenses of working within our partner facilities, we believe that our business model is set up for success. Um, the combination of these two elements have us expecting to be profitable by the end of the year. Um, also, so, I mean, while, while the white label production is paying the bills and offers that nice predictable revenue, we do also have our sights set on bringing the Hashco brand, um, to shelves, both in Canada and the U S regulated markets. Um, in Canada, we're jumping through those final few hoops to get our products onto shelves, which we, we hope to see in this coming fall. 
And meanwhile, our team's leveraging many established relationships in the California market to have our hash code products produced in Northern Cali and distributed through existing distribution channels uh, within our network. Uh, we believe that by establishing our brand in the California market through a, a low capital investment structure like this, um, it, it sets us up to grow into the U.S. market as the demand for our products is proven, and hopefully as regulations open up to allow for interstate business opportunities down there. Oh, very nice. And what is your website for people that want to check yeah, you out? So, so our website is www.thehashcorporation.com. Chris, uh, on behalf of the CSE, I just want to say thank you and to thank the Hash Corporation. If you put the letters together, it forms THC um, yeah. for, uh, for your listing on the Canadian Securities Exchange. And we wish you nothing but continued success. I've been your host, Barrington Miller. This has been an episode of Newly Listed Clip, and we featured the Hash Corporation. And you just heard from Chris Savoy, CEO. Thank you, and see you in the next episode. Thanks again, Barrington. Thank you for tuning in to another Newly Listed on the CSE. Please feel free to hit like and share this content and hit subscribe if you haven't already.